We start learning body language very early on. From the day we're born, we look into a human face and we start to figure out what that smile means. Now, as we go through life, we become very good at it. How many times have you ever thought to yourself, I don't believe a word that man says? Now, it's probably a politician that you've seen on TV or something, but the point is this. You're reading their body language, facial expressions, and tones, and you're picking up on something that just isn't quite right. And that is what your audience will do to you if you're trying to fake it. We can see that you're not being yourself or if you're not comfortable or confident. So the first golden rule that I'm going to give you is be yourself. Now, that probably sounds a bit strange. You might be thinking, well, who else am I going to be? Well, I've worked with hundreds of TV presenters who, when they're off screen, are friendly, warm and relaxed. But you put a camera in front of them and they change. They lose all that warmth and easygoing feeling and they become a little bit formal and artificial. It's almost like they're talking to the vicar or they're back at school and they're talking to the headmaster. So, what's happening here? Well, when somebody is holding back, it can be a defence mechanism. If we're nervous or unsure of the situation, we can put up a wall or a facade to protect the vulnerable little us inside. It's almost like we're thinking, if criticism comes, it's okay, because it's not really me, it's an act. A good TV presenter doesn't do this. They're confident and brave enough to let us see the real person inside. And in doing so, people will generally warm to them, because they're genuine. So, as a general rule, the you that works well on camera is a confident, enthusiastic and passionate one. And this is the only part of presenting that I would ever call a performance. Finding that energy and enthusiasm, even when you're not in the mood. You must be able to turn it on. But it's only the energy and enthusiasm that you turn on. Everything else is just you being yourself. I think of it like this. Imagine you've just returned home from the trip of a lifetime. Three months travelling the world and seeing all the best places and interesting cultures. And now you're meeting your best friend to tell them all about your adventures. You'd be happy to see them and enthusiastic to tell them about all the great stuff that you've seen. But you may have also seen some unpleasant things, perhaps poverty in certain areas. You'd still talk with that energy and conviction, it's still you on a good day, but you'd be sensitive to the situation. 